So welcome today to my little FPV tutorial today. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount that FPV transmitter here to the Bayang Toys X21 copter. Of course this can also be done with the X16. Um, and we're gonna have to create our own cable for that. We need to power the transmitter and we have to um, connect the video um, from the uh, Firefly using the Firefly video cable. We're gonna just have to connect those cables together. Um, this cable part here is for remote controlling the Firefly, which is not really required in our case. But it's more suitable if you have a bigger, uh, more programmable transmitter, but we don't have that, so maybe we can just cut it off. And the whole idea I have is um, that I'm trying to keep a little bit flexibility here. Um, here is the original cable from the Bayang Toys X21 uh, from the camera. So this is a JSTPH 2.0 connector, um, which um, I'm gonna, yeah, uh, well, uh, solder here to this cable. So uh, the advantage of this doing this is um, I can still um, connect the old camera here for whatever reason I'm going to do that but I do not have to cut off this power cable here from the camera. can simply connect it here with uh, the plug I bought. Unfortunately you only get that from an yeah, electric store or something like that and not from Gearbest so far and yeah I'm gonna solder that to here so I can simply power the transmitter and also disconnect if I don't need it. So yeah let's start. So I prepared the soldering now. Uh, we have just to be a little bit careful here that we do not mix up the polarity of course so when looking at the connector with the slot on top like this the black wire will go on the left side and the red wire will go on the right side. So step one is done. As you can see I've um, finished the soldering and also added a little bit of extra uh, shrinking tubes on it to have that nice little plug here. So next step will be connecting these cables here to the transmitter. So we finished now uh, the second part of our soldering uh, when we look at the cable that came with the transmitter, the yellow cable will just connect to the yellow cable from the Firefly cable. The white cable is for audio. We do not necessarily need it, but of course um, we are soldering it anyway. We can just as well solder it. So the white cable from the transmitter will connect to the red cable of the Firefly. And the brown cable is ground. This will connect with the black cable from the cable for the transmitter. So I will now do um, use an additional shrinking wire here, a shrinking tube to secure the whole thing and make it a little bit more tight and uh, yeah, neat. And yeah, and after this we will do a little function check if everything's working like expected. So we are ready for a little testing now. So I'm first going to power up the drone here. So that means that we will have power also on the little cable here for the camera. I'm gonna plug that in to power the transmitter. So we can see now the transmitter has a red LED when it's operating. We're gonna turn on the little pilot now. And of course connect Firefly 8S with its cable. The reason why I'm using the original cable is that it's really flat here, even though I'm gonna insulate that one a little bit more here. And of course, we just turn it on now. And we should get, yep, picture. And it takes a short moment to line up and we got a re really nice infinity effect here. So what I did now is here, I improved the insulation a little bit more here. I simply cut um, a little hole here into the big shrinking tube 
and fit the whole thing through. I'm gonna tighten that up now, just using regular good old lighter here. And this will make sure that the rear side will be insulated probably here. So just another little comparison here. This is now the well insulated version and this is the original cable and just to show you the difference um, the main problem with that cable is it will stick very wide out of the camera that will make it difficult when mounting it here to the gimbal and also the cable points down which also makes it difficult mounting it compare that with the original firefly cable which is much more flatter here as you can see and also the cable points up this is the remote control cable i just uh, cut it off and insulated it uh, as i don't need it so we're now gonna mount that to the gimbal so another thing i just finished is i simply added some little yeah, rubber um, tape here to the uh, handle on the gimbal because the new Firefly 8S also has the little tripod um, screw hole and I got a little screw for that. So all I need to do now is, um, of course, the other way around, screw the gimbal, uh, screw the camera to the gimbal using that little screw here and the rubber tape will keep it in place if I tighten its screw. Um, notice that we are a little bit off the center, uh, which is actually okay or even better as the gimbal is more balanced that way. And we uh, have to connect the cable now. And yeah, gonna fit this as well along the side here with the other cables and gonna mount the little transmitter here and fixing it here uh, with a little hole and a zip tie that should work out so i finally threaded the cable through uh, the existing um, yeah, drill cable here turns out it's actually a pretty good length here and i'm gonna glue now um, the little transmitter here to this location and finally fixing the antenna with an additional zip tie here uh, and pull uh, just uh, drilling a hole through here for the zip tie and um, I'm fixing it with uh, these little zip tie shoes I guess you can call it we have the double sided tape on the uh, on one side and on the other side you can just pull a little zip tie through so I finished my setup so far as you can see I fixed the little transmitter now here with the glue zip tie holder and I uh, drilled a little hole through here used another zip tie to fix here um, the Furby antenna and uh, also yeah tidied up the cables a little bit also here on the side like that so I turn it a bit so you can see it better here we now get the cable nice and tidy and if I want to just um, disable the transmitter to save some battery, I can just plug out here the little connector. I'll plug it in again if I want to use it by default. Usually you should just leave it like that. Okay guys, I'm back at my table here and we are finally ready with the whole setup and can do some final testing. So let's turn everything on. Give power to the drone, the display and of course the camera and here we go here we go with our setup and we are also now able to control the gimbal more smoothly as i change the code link is in the description for the gimbal control if you now press down it will start move and as soon as you press again it will stop again and you can move down stop again move up and stop again and move up again and yeah that's pretty much it and there's also a little message for you guys um yeah you might considering 
just subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks for watching.